multinominal logistic regression to discuss this topic i am using an example where we have dependent variable is preferred drink this variable has three categories alcoholic drink non alcoholic drink natural fruit drink and we have two independent variables age category and exercise multinominal logistic regression has three variables we have said <clears throat> if the number of levels are two we will be using binomial logistic regression if you have more than two we will be using multinominal logistic regression and multinominal logistic regression is used when the dependent variable is categorical or we call it as nominal you can see that drink i am asking about the preferred drink is nominal and independent variables can be either nominal or ordinal or even categorical in this example we want to see the discrimination given by age category and exercise on preference of the drink the age category i have taken as two levels below 40 years as category 1 above 40 years as category 2 this is only to understand in a easy way i have taken two levels and the second independent variable is exercise we are asking do you exercise regularly one means yes they exercise regularly zero they don't exercise regularly now by doing multinominal logistic regression we'll be seeing how age category and exercise is going to discriminate the preference of a drink we'll start the analysis analyze regression and we go for multinominal logistic regression now here we are taking preferred drink as a dependent variable age category and exercise as independent variable and in preferred drink we need to select the referential category what category we are referring we have three categories alcoholic drinks non alcoholic drinks and the third one is fruit drinks so i want to take the last category as the reference category <coughs> and in settings of this model we'll go for the menu model here we are going to go for customize in my earlier videos i discussed what is the main effect full factorial and custom uh, custom one okay you can see my earlier videos so i am taking about custom one where i want to have exercise and age category as independent variables i want to go with main effect say continue okay the next menu is statistics in statistics by default we have case processing summary we are going to get pseudo r square step summary model fitting information we will get apart from this i want to discuss classification table and goodness of fit 
continue okay these are simple things which i have taken model menu i have taken in this i have gone for custom and taken the exercise and age category as main effect and in statistics i want to discuss about classification table goodness of fit pseudo r square and case processing summaries okay we'll discuss these things after doing this simple settings we'll say okay okay this is the output screen in this first we'll see about the case processing summary total number of respondents in this example is 1305 respondents are there in this bifurcation is given like this alcoholic drink 343 non alcoholic 460 and fruit drink 502 and as i already said age category below 40 years and above 40 years are taken they are around 44 percent and 55 percent okay this is all about case processing summary we go for interpreting the other data this is called model fitting information <clears throat> in this we need to look at the final model in this multinomial regression dependent variable is preferred drink and independent variable are exercise and age category so age category and exercise is impacting the preferred drink this is a model and this model is called final model now i need to make a null hypothesis there is no significant difference between null model and final model null model will not have any independent variables final model will have all independent variables in the model so i am making a statement of null hypothesis there is no significant difference between final model and null model now how i interpret the data is we see significant value it is 0, 0.00 if the significant value is less than Zero point zero five. We say the null hypothesis is rejected. Now, since it is zero point zero zero, I am rejecting the null hypothesis. It means the final model is fit. In case if this value is above zero point zero five, we don't need to go further. We will stop the analysis here itself. Since the value is less than 0 0.05, we are rejecting the null hypothesis, mean the final model is more significant than the null value, null model. Okay, let me interpret this next table. This table is called goodness of fit. In this, we will be seeing about Pearson. Goodness of fit more also has a null hypothesis the null hypothesis is the model is adequately fit the model is adequately fit and if the significant value is less than 0 0.05 we reject it if it is above 0 0.05 we accept it now if the pearson value is 0. 2, which is more than 0 0.05 so I'm accepting the hypothesis null hypothesis that model is adequately fit the data is showing the model adequately fit 
so from these two tables we come to conclusion the model which we are developing is good now let me interpret the third table pseudo r square in linear regression we call r square in logistic regression we call it as pseudo r square the interpretation is same in both analysis but in logistic regression we call it as pseudo r square and linear regression we call it as r square what this pseudo r square says is the two independent variables how much they are showing the variation in the dependent variable is explained by pseudo r square the pseudo r square values will be between 0 and 1 0 means no variation at all is shown one perfect variation is shown our value is 0 0.3 which is not much variation but variation is there so generally we go with nagre uh, nagrekerki value which is 0 0.343 if it is more near to 1 we call the variation is perfect so in this case the two independent variables are not able to discriminate or not going to impact preference of drink adequately we need to add some more variables in order to make the model more adequate okay now let me come to the other table which is likelihood ratio table here we will be discussing about the two independent variables exercise and age category exercise is having significance of 0 0.00 and age category is also 0 0.00 both variables exercise and age category are having significant impact on the dependent variable preference of a drink if in case if any one of these two values are less than 0 or more than 0 0.05 we must not consider that independent variable in the analysis here in this case exercise and age category both are having significant impact on the dependent variable now let us come to parameter estimations this parameter estimation is interesting for analysis it will be interesting to do the analysis let us do the analysis like this total we have preferred drink three categories alcoholic drink non-alcoholic drink and natural food drink in this case natural food drink is taken as a reference category so when we are comparing we compare alcoholic drink to natural food drink non-alcoholic drink to natural food drink because we have taken natural food drink as a reference category okay let me start the analysis interpretation first we go with exercise in alcoholic drink so people if exercise zero means people who are not exercising regularly exercise one means people who are regularly exercising people who are not regularly exercising are preferring alcoholic drink 0 0.778 times than natural drink this is the interpretation 
people who are not exercising are preferring 0.778 times the alcoholic drink than no, uh, fruit natural fruit drink fine let me do the other interpretation age category 1 means less than 40 years 2 means above 40 years people who are ha who are less than 40 years are preferring alcoholic drink 0.892 times than natural fruit drink and both are significant if value less than 0.05 we call they are significant let us do the other interpretation non alcoholic drink same people who are not regularly exercising are preferring 0.206 times less than natural fruit drink because minus value is here means they are preferring less but unfortunately this is not significant because it is more than 0.05 it is not significant means there is no significant difference between people who exercise and people who are not exercising between non alcoholic drink and natural fruit drink but age category wise people who are having less than 0 uh, less than 40 years are preferring 2.38 times less than natural fruit drink so non alcoholic drink is preferred less how many times 2.38 times they are preferring less between age category 1 to age category 2 so this is the interpretation this is also significant and after this we come for the classification table which shows about the percentage of correctly prediction alcohol drinking people are classified as alcohol drink only 51% 51.9% non alcoholic drink 90.4% a natural fruit drink is very lessly they are classified 25.3 overall percentage is 55.2 so the classification is not adequate adequately classifying means the age category and exercise is not completely classifying whether a person will drink alcoholic drink or non alcoholic drink or natural fruit drink it can only do it only 55.2 percentage only can be classified so what is the final interpretation is we need to consider some more variables in order to identify what is a preference drinks apart from age category and exercise because the pseudo r square is 0.304 we may consider maybe like age should be considered or some other parameters which are going to actually decide like food habits also can be taken into consideration many other parameters need to be considered to see what is a preferred drink they are going to take up so this is how we interpret multinomial logistic regression when the dependent variable is categorical